Okay, so in this tutorial, we're going to be setting up our ePortal with a PC or a Mac. For the purpose of this, I'm going to be using PC, uh, and this is to be used with Macs on the meet recorders. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open ePortal, and you want to type in the password 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Once you've done that, you want to click login. Okay, so from here, you want to click device management, and you want to go to cloud device. Okay, so before we continue, if you haven't already made an account on Max on the app or on the Star for Life website, I would recommend doing that now on your recorder. Uh, there is tutorials for this uh, in the videos previous to this one. I'd recommend doing that first. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to click login and you want to type in your username and password that you've set up on the Max Relay app or on the Star for Life website. So for me, it is the username of Max1, my password, and I'm going to click login. So now we can see it logged in. So from here, what you want to do is you want to go to the top here where you can see cloud account and you want to click device details. And what you can see on the screen now, so my device details, is that I do have one recorder connected to my account. It's here. It's the Max 1 recorder of the NX104 model. So what you want to do is you want to add this to your ePortal so that you can view it. So you want to click the little tick box and you're going to want to click add manage. Okay. So you see now it's added, it says yes. So from there, you can close this little box. And you can see now that in my cloud devices, I have an added recorder that is currently offline. It takes about 60 seconds for this to come online. So right now, you're going to want to just give it a moment. If it doesn't come online after 60 seconds or so, you can see the little refresh up here. If you just click this uh, a few times, you may find that the system comes online. Okay, so you can see now that my system is online. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back to my control panel. And I'm going to click on live view now. Okay, so from here, you'll notice that I have my recorder here now, Max One. So if you just left, double left click on this, it's going to open all your cameras. I only have one connected, so it's only open one. Now you can only you can see that it's kind of opened in a low stream. If I wanted to up this to mainstream or a higher quality, I could right click the camera, go down to stream type, and then click main. Okay, so here now you can see that I'm in mainstream. If I wanted to view this full screen. I could left double click again on the camera and it will bring it up to fill the live view area. If you want to go back to seeing all your cameras, just left double click again. Okay, if your camera has a microphone on it, you've got here this little audio um, symbol, you can left click that and it will open it up now. You can see I've got my audio switched on now. I can turn the volume up. I also recommend checking that you've got your volume up on your, cam your computer as well. Yeah. If you want to use the PTZ functions, of your PTZ camera or a motorized camera. You've got this little PTZ menu here and you can use this to zoom in and out. So I'm just gonna zoom in now, see that? Just focusing in, I've zoomed in a little bit. You can also get the same effect of zooming in and out on a motorized camera by using the scroll wheel on your mouse. So I'm just gonna put this full screen and I'm gonna use the scroll wheel. You can see there now, camera is zooming in and focusing. There we are. So we can see that that works. Okay, if you wanted to view your playback, you could click on control panel, go to playback, and then you can choose your recorder, you can choose your cameras, you can choose the date of playback, so let's say we went 24th, you can use the timeline to choose the time, and you can click play and you can watch your playback back. And that is how you use ePortal and set up ePortal for use with your Max One Elite recorder.